Hello, we're at Cuddeth Railway Station, near Barnsley, owned by the North Midland Railway in 1840, on its Leeds to Derby line. In 1885, just about where I'm stood, another platform was built to serve the Hull and Barnsley Railway. It's the closest the line ever got to the town of Barnsley. It's about two and a half miles away. As we head north, the line crossed Barnsley Road. The bridge was removed quite recently. As we move away from the Midland Line, we're now on an embankment. We're just passing a former bleach works on our right. The Hull and Barnsley, originally called the Hull, Barnsley and West Riding Junction Railway and Dock Company, was opposed by the North Eastern Railway, which had a monopoly in the lines around Hull. The company opened fully in 1885 and included Alexander Dock at Hull. By 1922, the two companies had finally sorted out their differences and merged. When the Big Four Railway Companies were formed in 1923, both companies became part of the London and North Eastern Railway. This section finally closed in 1967. This farmer's access bridge is starting to deteriorate. The bridge we can just see in front passes under the Midland Line. Back up on the trap bed, we can still find a few relics, such as this rotted out telegraph post. and this signal post. The main purpose of this line was to get coal to the Port of Hull for export. Supplies of timber were brought into the Port of Hull from Scandinavia. This was transported back into the South Yorkshire coal field for use as pit props. On our left here was Cuddeth South Yard, now a nature reserve. We're at the site of Cuddeth South Junction. This is where the line branched off to Stairfoot. We'll follow that later on. This now filled in bridge carried Shore Lane across the lines. You can see this culvert is built in a traditional Hull and Barnsley style. We're now looking south from the bridge. The remains of the signal box in the distance can still be found. This area is now home to numerous scrapyards. Heading north again, we pass the site of Cuddeth North Sidings, again now scrapyards. This area is well known by bus enthusiasts, it's the place where buses meet their end. The Hull and Barnsley had an engine shed here until 1951. This is the approximate location. On our little map here, Shore Lane Bridge is circled in blue. The engine shed we've circled in red.
were at the site of Cuddoth North Junction. A line came here on the left from Wancliffe Woodmore Colliery. There's also a short branch of the Moncton Main Colliery running alongside this beck. Before crossing it over this iron bridge. The trap bed from here has been lost to landscaping, the area now being a nature reserve. Access to Moncton was under this road bridge. Back on the trap bed we have a steady climb up towards Shafton. After passing under this footbridge, the cutting is now flooded. Fortunately, a footpath runs alongside it. So this is as far as we're coming today, we're at Sandy Bridge Lane at Shafton. We'll have a steady walk back and see if we can have a look at the stairfoot branch before it gets dark. So, we're back at Cuddoth South Junction in among the scrapyards. Straight in front of us, a branch left which will follow to stairfoot. We can see our line on this map, which crossed over the Midland line on an iron bridge. This was demolished in the early 1970s, but there's still one support remaining. This is looking north over Cuddoth South Yard. The picture shows coal wagons in the yard opposite Carlton Main Colliery. The trap bed heads towards stair foot, crossing this farmer's access. Just to our right is a site of Carlton Main Colliery. This closed in 1970, but there's still a few remains around the site. Shortly after closure, a bakery was built on the site, still operational today, and well known for making exceedingly good cakes. The embankment to the left is the Midland Railway's Cuddoth North Curve, which today only serves a glassworks at Monk Breton. Our trap bed disappears from here for a while, blocked by a new road and a glassworks. The green bridge is the line into the glassworks.
We pick up our line on Burton Road in Monk Breton. The trap bed is now a footpath. We think this may have been a signal post. As we head towards Longwood, we pass under Pontefract Road, just as it starts to rain. The cutting on the other side has been filled in. After crossing Lund Lane, we head towards Stairfoot. The first of these three bridges crosses a road which led to a sewage facility. Next, we cross the River Dern. We can just see Sunnybank Viaduct in the distance, which carried the Chapel Town Loop Line. We're now passing over the Great Central Railway Line, which went to Grimethorpe Colliery. From here we run alongside the Midland Railway Chapel Town Loop Line at a slightly lower level. A telegraph pole snapped off and lies in the cutting. The former Midland Line is just up on our left. After crossing this farmer's access bridge, we find a pulley support and another snapped off telegraph post. Approaching Stairfoot, this area was sidings, before crossing a bridge taking the line behind Stairfoot station. As we can see from this little map from not too long ago, there was a melee of lines around Stairfoot. The Hull and Barnsley line was outlined in orange. Here's where the trap bed finishes. It did go a little bit further into a chemical works, but no further. We'd like to thank you for watching this little explore. Please like and subscribe and we'll be back soon.